How is it going guys, this is Jim here and welcome to a new video and to a new custom set or mock for Halo Mega Bloks. Sorry it's been so long, I haven't uploaded a video, uh, I probably told you this before but as you know there's a lot of homeworks, tests and controlled assessment stuff for school which is always lovely, yay. So that's why I haven't been uploading many videos because I'm hardly uh, down here uh, to make, you know, stuff in the little stop motion and uh, Halo Mega Blocks uh, studio, which is kind of just a, a corner of my room that I dedicate this to, as you do. But anyway, uh, yeah, the reason there's been no uh, gaming videos is because uh, my mic stopped working a long time ago now. You should probably get a new one. Uh, yeah, I bought the Star Wars Battlefront Death Star DLC. It is awesome. I may make a video on that sometime soon. I might just use the Elgato. The only reason I don't use the Elgato a lot is because it takes so long to upload videos. So anyway, this set is called Scorpion Imperator, and this is a new type of Scorpion uh, class or vehicle, and uh, it's got, <laughs> well, it's got a lot of features in it. It's got a lot of space in it, which Mega Bloks should have done to the original Scorpion Sting set because there was so much space in the inside. I have basically taken this whole middle section apart and rebuilt it with several new pieces. You'll see already there's a bunch of things that are just unrecognizable from the uh, normal Scorpion from that set. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try not to talk too much. I know I've kind of talked for a long time right now and just get straight into this set so that it's not a super long video. So here we go. So yeah, this is slightly different. I'm going to uh, just do it a different way this time in this video and start with the figures first before I get onto the main parts of this custom set. And uh, yeah, so from left to right, we have Master Chief. We have the, uh, it's the sort of dark, very dark green uh, metallic color with the visor crack. And uh, his default weapon for the set that he should be holding, that would probably be on the front cover, is a DMR. Now moving across, here we have a Spartan Orbital in a uh, sort of like a lime avocado green uh, color with a golden visor, and uh, that guy is holding a black real gum. Moving on to the right, we have a Jackal with his little uh, yellow shield and also a beam rifle there in his hand, uh, and that is in the uh, blue sort of uh, indigo color. So then moving on down with the matching blue indigo color is an Elite, and this Elite's uh, weapon that it's supposed to be holding is an energy sword, its default weapon. Yeah, so that's it for the figures in the set. We got four in total. Next is the terrain piece. There is a small terrain piece that comes with the set. It's nothing special. It's literally just a, a grass terrain piece with an actual piece of grass and then also a plasma turret that can spin 360 degrees. It is built slightly differently, as you can see there. It's usually the opposite way around, this piece. But yeah, that's just to pose your Covenant figures on. So. Now let's get into the vehicle. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this at all, literally a couple of seconds, because this is just the default ghost that they released in the Jewel and Dama uh, ghost set. Uh, there's nothing new about this, it's pretty much just a normal ghost. So yeah, uh, the reason I included this is so that the Scorpion Imperator would obviously have something to battle against instead of it just being there, or the set would kind of be a bit pointless. So yeah, here's your enemy to fight against. Okay, now is where it gets interesting. I couldn't actually fit this whole scorpion in frame uh, on my camera, so I'm actually just holding this uh, on a sort of mount. So, uh, yeah, this is the Scorpion Imperator. Uh, it's kind of hard to see some of the dark spots because of my uh, lamp up there that's producing the light. Uh, but, yeah, this thing is completely different. Actually, I'm just going to move this up here. There we go, just so we can get a little bit more light. I should turn it around a little bit. Uh, come on. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, the main colours are obviously the green that you usually get for UNSC. We also have a uh, sort of iron grey silver colour here. And then uh, we have a few normal grey, as you can see there. There's a lot of pieces actually. Uh, yeah, there as well. And then finally we have black. Now black has actually been used throughout. There is also a few bits of white, but that's just mainly on stickers. I have added stickers onto this, so um, yeah, it's definitely um, in full bloom. So yeah, let's just go over a few of the features on the outside 
So here we have small little indents on each side of uh, these two bits at the side of the tank. Uh, and these are actually to store sandbags, which can easily just be picked up. It's just a slope in there, so the sandbag will just sit quite comfortably in there. So, take that out. Sorry for the fuzzy screen, because my phone uh, is so close to this lamp, the screen will go fuzzy. If you're wondering why I've called this Scorpion Imperator, uh, that's because there is a type of scorpion called... Um, uh, I can't actually remember the name of it, it's something like Pin Pindema, I, I don't judge me on that because that's not the exact name, but it's similar to that. Basically an Imperator is an Emperor Scorpion, and I'll put a picture up on screen, it's kind of scary. It's huge and bulky, I've noticed that, and also it's black. Um, there has been black throughout in the set, um, in the original Scorpion Sting set, it was mainly just green and that was it, with a little bit of uh, the silver colour there. Yeah, I have used black throughout, so that is why it's called an Imperator. So yeah, we have these two sandbags that can sit quite nicely in uh, either side. So that's what that's for, I'll just stack those and put them to the side. Okay, my camera is going very fuzzy, so I'm going to move the lamp back down. Okay, let's move on. There is a lot of new details at uh, the side here. Let's just bend the camera down. As you can see, these pieces are all new. Uh, here, these fin pieces, just to make the scorpion look really cool, have also been added. There's a few new pieces here as well, as you can see. Now we're going to get onto the front, because the front is the most interesting, uh, and the back, and the top actually. So I'm just going to raise uh, these guns a minute, and turrets. So here, it looks slightly different, because in the original scorpion sting set, we had the pilot's little uh, area to open up, a way up here. Uh, it's actually raised elevation, so it was actually sort of down here. Then we had a circular piece here with a turret. Now this is where it gets interesting. All these pieces are new, all this bit has been completely rebuilt all the way to the back. Uh, another thing I should mention is, usually in the scorpion, the bigger piece for this side, where the uh, treads are, will be at the back, but I've actually switched it so that the bigger piece is at the front and the smaller piece at the back, so that's why the scorpion looks so different as well. So anyway, yeah, here we have a new compartment that can be raised up quite easily, and as you can see, if you can see in there, there is a small little seat, and there's also some nice uh, stickers at the side there, my camera would focus. Uh, there we go, very bright, there we go, there's a small seat in there. Now, uh, the interesting feature about this is, obviously it can close and open up very, very smoothly and easily, but what you're supposed to do is remove this completely. There you go, remove that completely. Now, we also get an extra piece in this set, which is this. It is a turret, and it actually has been halved here, just to make it look extra cool. And what you do is you're supposed to take off this small little piece here, and then simply just click on the turret. So now you have yet another turret for your scorpion that can be raised up and down very, very easily. Can be turned? Actually, no, it can. There we go. Can be turned, but not very much. And uh, yeah, okay, I just skipped that part for time reasons, but anyway, so let's move on to uh, the back bit of here. Now there's just a pipe here, no particular reason. It's really just for it to look cool. Uh, the back has been completely redone. I think it looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot smoother. There's a lot of smooth tile pieces. I will show you the inside, which is probably the most exciting thing afterwards. But right now, what I want to talk about is this top section. So this top section has been completely redone, as you can see. A lot of new pieces. I have made it so that the main turret can actually be raised much higher and actually almost, well, it is. It's, it's backwards like fully backwards uh, and it can go even further which is awesome uh, the whole thing is still 360 degrees it can go all the way around uh, yeah the reason I can't get it 360 is because there's a wall but you know uh, I've also added a secondary smaller turret right next to the main cannon here and this is just a small easy little turret uh, to build uh, it can be raised up just basically at the exact same height bending backwards uh, which is pretty cool, so they can sort of go down together. And, um, 
yeah, no. The elevation, uh, elevation? The elevation has been raised a lot here, so this whole thing is much higher, as you can probably tell. So how do you get into this thing? Well, here's where it's cool. This is the fun part. So obviously there's the back. The back can be opened pretty easily. You just open that bit up and then open this bit down. Now, it's much bigger at the back now, as you can see. That's because this is now below the whole scorpion instead of being on these studs where it used to be before. So let's just quickly close this up. And actually, these blocks block it from going further, so actually it perfectly just sits there and then you can flip it down. So there you go. Now, how you get into this thing is you grab the whole top section and you simply just give it a little pull and the whole top section will pull off, as you can see. Let's just set that to the side. There's a small front piece here. This can be very easily removed by simply just pulling it up. It just rests on two studs and then there's a few flat pieces. There you go, as easy as that. And then you can also just open up the back piece for more interior uh, access. So yeah, just look at how big this space is now. So on the inside, uh, I think I'm zoomed in. No, I'm not. So, on the inside here, we have a crate. that You can customize the layout if you want. Uh, that's why I've included extra pieces here. But, yeah. Here we have a crate. And here we have another crate, which is actually used from a fusion coils base. And in there, we actually have a silver saw uh, sticking to the theme of uh, the colors. Uh, in there is also a magnum, as you can see. Just pop that back in there. There's a few stickers. Uh, if I turn this whole thing around, you'll see there is actually a health pack on the wall that's been clicked on. There is a small little piece here, and you can attach a weapon if you want onto there. And then at the very front, if I can get this in the light, we have two seats. So that means you can fit so many figures in here, and you've all this space at the back too. Uh, there's two seats. There's a control panel, this is the sort of new control area for this Imperator Scorpion. And we have a little uh, data pad or terminal on the uh, wall. Yeah, so that's how big this is. I have included an extra seat. If you do want to remove the crates and put a seat in there, because it will fit. Uh, so there you go, that's another seat. Now, I just want to show you how big this thing is. So, here we so go. So I have just removed everything on the inside, as you can see, that has been sitting there. Now this thing is so big that here's a crate that comes with this set as well, a large crate. Uh, oh, let's just make sure it's fully closed. There we go. Now, if you put this inside, this goes as far as here. So you actually have even more space to fit this slightly smaller crate in front of it. Now that is pretty huge. Now. I've just also got the same box, or crate, just without a lid, uh, and that can actually be put in there as well. By the way, this one isn't included in the set, but this is just to show you how big this is. So, if you want to take everything out and, you know, remove the health pack, and if you want to make this a uh, cargo transport scorpion, then you can fit so much on the inside. So yeah, that's just to show you how much space there really is. So let's get on to all the little knick-knacky things in the set and see what's inside these crates. So here are the two large crates that you get in the set. So we'll start with the smaller one, if we just simply open this up. Inside, all that's in here is three green grenades. So there you go, there's three green grenades. You can put anything else in there, the magnum will fit in there, and yeah. So that's it for that crate. Moving on to the next, slightly larger crate. In here we have two extra sandbags, we also have a backpack which is the exact same colour as the Spartan Orbital in this set, put that down there. We also have a combat knife, there we go, and then finally we just have a little fuel canister or gas canister just in case something goes wrong with the scorpion. I mean it's pretty big, there's multiple faults that could go wrong in that thing. So yeah, I'm just going to do an overview of all the weapons and the other things in the set. And that's pretty much it, guys. Okay, so this is all the extra stuff, as well as all the weapons and crates, etc., that's included in the set. So we've got three crates here. We also have a plasma turret. Here we have an energy sword, the newer version. We have a beam rifle. We have a jackal shield. Now, those three are the main weapons that the two Covenant figures are holding. 
Whereas here is an extra weapon. This is just a uh, newer version of plasma pistol. Here we have a green gas canister. We have four sandbags in total, or just, uh, you know, those green sort of bags. Uh, here we have the three green grenades. We have the magnum and the silver saw. We have a black railgun and a black DMR, a combat knife, and a little backpack. So that is all you get in this set. Well, that's it for this set, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed watching the video and for more videos uh, coming in the future. I forgot to mention this set would probably go for around $49.99, which is about £50. That's me being generous. Uh, that's if this was an actual set, of course. Uh, in US dollars, that would probably be then around $59.99, which is $60. And uh, yeah. So that's it for this set, guys. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.